everyone you're welcome back to purposeful parenting channel big shout out to all my amazing subscribers i heart you guys seriously i'm super grateful that we are doing this together and for those of us joining us for the very first time what are you waiting for click the subscribe button so that you can join the family all right so on to today's video I want to discuss with us how to reduce sibling rivalry. So in other sense, what I'm trying to say is how you can help your children get along better. Okay? So based on today's topic, we are going to be looking at it in three ways. Number one is what is sibling rivalry? Number two, what are the causes of sibling rivalry? Number three, how do we reduce sibling rivalry? Now, quote me right, I said, how can we reduce sibling rivalry and not how we can stop it? Because to some parents, no, even to most parents, it, it seems almost impossible to stop sibling rivalry. But we can reduce it. If not, it will prolong and result to other things like intense hatred and creating enmity among siblings. And I know you wouldn't want that for your children, right? So that is why I encourage you, please stay with me till the end of this video, okay? So let's dive right in. The first one is, what is sibling rivalry? Sibling rivalry is simply the disagreement or conflict that exists among siblings. Or it is the disagreement or competition that exists among siblings. That is siblings always fighting quarreling exchanging words using of abusive words so that is what sibling rivalry means so why you can't stop it entirely we can reduce the frequency right yes we can reduce the frequency now what are the causes of sibling rivalry what are the causes there are so many causes of sibling rivalry but today we are only going to be focusing on one one cause of sibling disagreement and that one is parental treatment the one that relates to parents that is the parent factor parental treatment one major way parents cause sibling rivalry is by continuously comparing their children continuously comparing these children and they do this simply because they don't yet understand that these are different individuals that children are unique even though they all came from god same god through you yet they are different individuals they are not the same so that means they are wired differently they possess different strength, different gifts, different capacity. So they are not the same. And because you've not yet understood and appreciated the fact that every child is unique, that is why you continuously compare them. So you need to understand and appreciate the fact that every child is unique. And every child is wired differently. That way, you will stop comparing them and that will reduce the disagreement that exists among siblings. So I'm going to list ways you can reduce sibling rivalry. Ways you can reduce siblings' disagreements. Number one, it's, I've stated it already. Don't compare them. Don't compare them. And for you not to do this, you have to understand and appreciate the fact that every child is unique when you understand that every child is unique what you now do is to correct them and not compare them they are two different things you now correct them and not compare them number two celebrate their individuality allow each child be themselves number three pay attention to what triggers the disagreement between your children and work on it be sensitive enough. Why is it that they are always quarreling? Pay attention. What triggers it? 
so that you can work on it and have a peaceful home. Number four, treat them fairly. Treat them fairly. Children should get the same amount of parents' love, parents' attention, and parents' discipline. So don't play favorites. It's dangerous. Don't play it, okay? Number five, help them to get along by engaging them in family activities, fun activities that they can do together. And this will also teach them how to forgive and let go. Number six, set aside a long time for each child, one-on-one -on -one time with each kid, okay? Number seven, organize regular family meetings. Hmm. This one is very, very important. Organize regular family meetings where everyone is allowed to say their mind without anyone putting them down, without any interruption. And every other person is also allowed to listen. So organize a family meeting and allow each of them say their mind. Number eight, have a family slogan that they can say together. Something like, united we stand, divided we fall. And have them say it often, especially when they are leaving for school or when they are leaving each day. Let them hold their hands, say it, and then hug each other and say their goodbyes. So I'm not saying you should use united we stand, divided we fall. No, you can have your own family slogan, something that is binding the family together, okay? Now on this note, let me share a, a brief story with us. There is this story I read, an old man on his sick bed, he had three sons. So every time they are always in disagreement, conflict, quarreling, fighting. So one day this man called them on his sick bed. So when they came together, he sent out the elder son. He asked him to go grab three sticks that he left outside. So he went and picked those sticks and brought it to his father. So his father used a, a rope to tie the three sticks together. And guess what? He gave the sticks to each of his sons to break the stick, starting with the eldest, of course. And none of them could. But later, he now removed the rope that he used to tie the sticks together and gave it back to them. Gave each person one stick, each person per stick, and now asked them to break. And that one was very easy for them to break. And there comes the lesson. He now pointed out the lesson to them. That together, they can achieve a lot. That unity is strength. And that is what I encourage you to do also. Share these stories with them often. Don't wait until they get into disagreement. Look for related stories like this. Even inside the Bible, you can get stories like this. Gather them together. Share it with them. And ask them for the moral lesson. Let them be the ones to point out and say the moral lessons themselves. Okay? Don't wait until they get into conflict before you start teaching them. Number nine, you and your spouse should model unity, love, and forgiveness to your children. Remember I keep saying, whatever you want your child or children to pick very easily, model it to them. Why? Because children are more of good imitators than good listeners. So model it to them. They should see you both doing things together. They should see you both doing things together. You don't expect your children to be in unity when you and your spouse, you guys are always fighting, exchanging words in their presence. So they pick that. So whatever you want your child to learn, model it to them. They should see mommy and daddy holding hands, praying together, cooking together, working together. So finally, family, hold hands together and pray together. A family that prays together stays together. And in conclusion, reducing sibling rivalry starts with you, the parents. 
putting structures in your home and being mindful of what you do or say around those children. Okay? All right, family. Thank you for staying with me till the end of this video. If you got value from this video, please, I encourage you like, comment below, let me know what you think. Share with your friends and family. And if you are yet a subscriber, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification so that you'll be the first to get notified anytime I upload related videos like this. Okay? All right. Thank you once again. Bye for now. See you next week Monday. Bye, family.